Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kara, and today we're finishing up a two-part series of No Line Coloring, and this is Elliot and Marcel Feeling Blue, illustrated by Jillian Charlton for Purple Onion Designs. So I am now onto Marcel, and I started just by giving him a, a once over with an E70, and I'm kind of defining his body shape. So just finding that, putting in the color, just, he's a smaller little guy, so I really just fill it in. And now with an E71, I'm giving some shading to the left side because our light source is from the upper right. Looking at the stamped image over on the sticky note next to it, you can kind of see Marcel there and I'm finding those lines and his little eyes and just making sure that I have his shape right. Now with an E74, darkening some of that up and getting into the shadows of his ears and on that left side again. The first video of the series focused on the no line coloring of Elliot the elephant and he's a large image so we just took that whole time to look at how I uh, went about coloring him up but this video is going to emphasize more of putting this card all together. So we've got the no line coloring going on here with Marcel uh, but he's a small guy again. So not a lot of blending going on, but I am still trying to keep those dark shadows thin so that I have enough lighter area for our little monkey here. So from the E71, blending out that E74, and then I'll take the E70 and blend out from the E71. I want a variation on his lower face area where his mouth is and also his ears. So I've got an E93. Now this is kind of a, a pinker brown. They're both kind of a pink brown but in a different way. So the E90s are kind of like a terracotta and the E70s are more of a mauve type brown. So together I think that they blended nice for but gave some variation from the upper part of his face to the lower part and also his ears. So now just coming back in and giving those dark shadows another once over so that uh, they get blended away as I blend things out. So that's the nice thing about Copic markers is the ability to just keep layering. That's where alcohol markers are very different than water-based markers because they don't break down the paper. Here's that E70 just to finish things up and give it a smooth blend throughout. One nice thing about no line coloring is you can use the negative space to kind of clean up the image as well. So where Elliot was that violet color, I was able to uh, kind of clean up Marcel's arm by using the negative space there. All right, I started coloring this grass underneath with a G40 and G43, but I decided that I was going to ink blend it. So after I have this all <laughs> colored through, uh, I go through and I probably didn't need to do any of that because I am going to ink blend it instead. One of the reasons I decided to ink blend was I wanted to heat emboss the sentiment. So I'm using some clear sticky ink and stamping that onto the card panel. I have some white embossing powder. This is Lawn Fawn embossing powder and I will heat that up to melt it with my heat gun off camera and there it is. You cannot see it <laughs> but you will. I wanted to add in some little details. So here's Marcel's tail and I'm just putting in the little lines there and then he has a bow on his tail. So I wanted to put that in as well. But with the uh, grass colored in, it's not a big deal because I, I can ink over Copic marker without a problem. And I also, this, the other reason I wanted to ink blend instead was I wanted to 
give it a mood, I guess, because poor Elliot is sad. And I wanted to kind of give, have that reflect in the background as well. And I didn't want to put too much into this background. I didn't want to create an entire scene because I wanted Marcel and Elliot to be the focus. But I wanted a bit of drama to come from the background. All right, this is that sticky note that I stamped the image on and I'm just cutting it out. I won't need to cut out his tail because it's a, a line, but I did cut out his little bow and I masked his, his bow with that. So just making sure that my mask is on there straight everywhere. And I'm gonna create a line dividing the grass from the sky. I'm going to ink blend using Distress Oxide inks. Typically, I use regular Distress ink when I'm using Copic markers because I can Copic color right over it. Uh, but this Oxide ink is thicker. It kind of has a pigment component to it so that it stays on top of the paper and it, it has a, uh, a chalky look to it, which is more of what I was looking for for this one. And so I used Broken China and Salty Ocean. And this is Blueprint Sketch. I'm trying to blend them together, but I also want to show that difference between the Broken China is kind of a blue-green and the Blueprint Sketch now up to the Faded Jeans uh, is, is a more of an indigo blue. So <laughs> kind of giving them a, a little more interest, I think, to have those variations of blue. And now with Wilted Violet uh, kind of going all over so that it's not fully blended from one to another. You can kind of see splotches of it everywhere. Before I ink blend the grass, I wanted to create a shadow for Marcel and Elliot there. And so if I'm going to do that with Copic markers, I first have to do that before I put that ink down. Because as I said, uh, Copic markers don't play well with oxide inks. So I have the G43 coming in. I'm just trying to kind of follow a rough shape of Elliot there and have Marcel's little head peeking up <laughs> at the top as well and blend that in, smooth it out. Find those uh, little legs, making sure I kind of have them at the the right angles. I, I don't get too precise with this. And then I'm going to gray it up just a little bit with the YG63. So it's a yellow green, kind of a grayer one. And blend that back in with the G43. And then I kind of have a good shadow that I feel is strong enough to take on the ink blending. So there's Marcel's ears coming in and Elliot's little tail, <laughs> just to give the idea of it. Now I can mask off my sky and my, I'm using the same sticky notes so they aren't going to stick as well because that ink's still a little bit wet and so just getting a little tape in between and now I'm going to Take some mowed lawn distress oxide and ink blend along the bottom there. Then add in a little blue grass with the broken china. This is going to give us a little transition from the sky to the grass. And you can still see that shadow underneath it all. All right, reveal that line again. And I'm going to keep the masks on Marcel and Elliot because I want to now take my Distress Oxide, put a little water with it, and create some speckles on the background. And I tried a, a regular watercolor brush, and it wasn't giving me what I was looking for. So I have an old stiff brush, and that gave me those real small speckles. The first one was Faded Jeans, and this is Blueprint Sketch. And I'm just doing it all over. I want it on the grass and in the sky, and adding a lot more water now and going back to that watercolor brush and I want to get some splotches on there as well. So some little speckles and then bigger splotches 
tapping the brush with my finger. You can see my finger is pretty blue. <laughs> uh, it was that way for about a day, <laughs> but it does wash off. It's not bad. But I'm really trying to wipe up that water, and if I didn't get the speckles or the splotches right where I wanted them, I just made them. I put that brush down and pretended. So blotting it up with a paper towel, and I want to clean off that white embossing area to bring back that nice white bright look to it. And then I can take that mask off. So there's that little bow on Elliot's tail and just carefully getting that mask peeled back. And you can see there are some white edges where things weren't exactly right. And we're gonna clean those up with both the Copic markers and the oxide inks. So first with the Copic markers, taking those violet colors to fill in any of the white spaces there. And the same with the blue-green colors as well. well. This is a BG11, which is a little darker than I was uh, initially using a BG10. So just giving it a little more shadow there and then defining out that bow a little bit even more so with the BG13. And just giving those little details. And now with the Distress Oxide, I'm tapping the top of my stylus onto the ink pad and then just tapping it around the image uh, so that because on Marcel here I didn't want to make his ear bigger by coloring with Copic marker I think that bringing in some of the background to help uh, clean up that area worked better for me but just making sure that I've got a nice clean edge there so that Marcel retains his shape. And I think he's all set now. And all I have left to do is attach it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. And this card is all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this two part series and it encouraged you to do some no line coloring for yourself. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.